welcome to Hardware Heaven. This is our quick video review of the Samsung H50 Pro SSD. So as you can see the packaging is reasonably plain for this new SSD. Get a little bit of information on the top which is the capacity and then on the back some of the key feature information for the drive. We've got a little tab up in the corner there that allows us to open it up and then inside we get a few different leaflets. So we have the installation guide, a warranty leaflet and a couple of case stickers. So the warranty on this drive is worth talking about first because often you'll find that an SSD is three years or five years for the warranty. This new 850 Pro is 10 years. So double most other drives or all other drives really and more than triple some of the other drives. So the drive comes in a plastic container, it just lifts out of there and it's a metal casing. So you get Samsung branding on there, a silver edge and then it's got a sticker on the bottom that gives us the capacity again as well as some of the certifications that it's been through. We've got the SATA 3 power and data connectors at the side there and other than that it's a, a pretty standard looking SSD. Before we go into the specifications and what makes this drive different to the last generation it's probably worth taking a little look at what you would get on a competitor's model. So a couple of them here just random drives that we picked up. So this is Crucial's latest drive. They give you an activation key for the True Image software that allows you to move your operating system. You get the drive itself and then you get a little bumper. So that allows you to change this smaller inner drive, it's about the same thickness as the Samsung drive, to the, the thicker drive size 9mm if that's the type of bay that you've got. Of course Samsung don't include that bumper. For OCZ this is their Vector 150. They also give you some leaflets. One of them is again True Image Software Key. You get the drive, you get some screws to install it, and then you also get a little caddy. So that is where you can install your SSD and it changes it up to a standard hard drive bay. Uh, it's less needed nowadays than it was in previous generations because you have um, a lot of cases nowadays have space for SSDs. So we saw there were software keys with those other two drives. That isn't um, something that Samsung provides because they provide free software on their website. So you can download the SSD Magician which allows you to monitor your drive, upgrade the firmware, erase it all sorts of things like that, as well as enable rapid mode, which we'll talk about later in the review. You also get data migration software, which allows you to um, basically do the same as True Image does. So you take your existing drive with its operating system on it, and you can migrate it onto the SSD, just then remove the old drive, plug in the new SSD, and carry on without having to reinstall your operating system. So that's what Samsung offer. Um, here are some of the key specifications of the drive. Four capacities of the 850 Pro will be available at launch. That's 128GB, 256GB, 512GB and 1TB. Ours is the 512GB version and like the other models it features Samsung's new 32 layer 3D VNAND. This new NAND delivers up to two times the performance and density of traditional 20 nanometer chips and that's achieved by having 32 layers to cylindrical cell structure which means more cells can be stacked vertically for a smaller footprint and higher density. Sitting beside the NAND is Samsung's latest 3-core three, um, three MEX controller, so the latest generation of that, and it has access to 512 megabytes of LPDDR2 on the 512GB model. It's 256 megabytes of cache on the 128GB drive and 1GB on the 1TB drive. Our drive has a formatted capacity of 476GB in Windows 8.1 and as a 
one of the key um, changes for the 850 Pro series Samsung Note that the lower capacity drive, so that's the 128 gigabyte version, has enhanced write performance when you compare it to the 840 series. So quite often um, you'll find with lower capacity SSDs the performance, especially on write operations, takes a bit of a hit. That's less of an issue with this drive. So what we get here is around about 470 megabytes a second write speed on the lowest capacity drive and that's not quite the 520 that we get from the 256 gigabyte and above but it is pretty close 50 megabytes so it's not going to be that noticeable in most operations for the read speed all of the drives are rated for 550 megabytes a second and that um, 550 read 520 write spec can, um, is a hundred thousand and 90,000 IOPS. So you get that performance maintained by garbage collection, trim, and we can secure a Razor drive to return it to a fresh state if we want. And Samsung offer enhanced security through AES 256-bit, that's full disk hardware-based encryption, and they also support TCG and Opal 2.0. Power use is 3.3 watts when in use and 0.4 watts when idle. The drive, the heaviest model, the one terabyte, weighs around 66 um, grams, that's half some other drives, and in terms of endurance, that's 40 gigabytes daily and 150 terabytes written, and that is double a lot of other high-end drives. So a, a drive that's aimed at heavy sort of endurance use, and that is something that, you know, the 10-year warranty that we mentioned earlier on would tend to signify as well. So you have double the terabytes written capacity, you've got some low power use, you've got double the warranty, and you've got some advanced NAND that should enhance performance. Um, so let's see what the performance figures are. Starting the performance section of this review, we've got Atto Disk Benchmark, and you can see that the Samsung 850 Pro is pretty much top of the pile. It certainly is in read speed when compared to the other SATA drives, a little bit ahead of the Crucial and about 8 or 9 megabytes ahead of the OCZ Vector. The Vector does match the 850 Pro in write speeds, but that's more a limitation of the platform rather than the drive itself. And then you can see the Crucial M550 lags a little bit behind on the write speed. The bottom drive there, the Plextor M6E, is an M2 drive, and so if you're building a new system just now with the Z97 platform from Intel, you'll find that the M2 drive gives you a little bit of extra performance because it doesn't have the same limitations that SATA does. Um, that means that it's 729 on the read speed and 575 on the write. Later on in the review, we'll see how those kind of scores compared to the 850 Pro with Rapid turned on. So moving on to Crystal Disk Mark, we can see that the 850 Pro again performs well, especially good on read speed and the, the write speed's not too bad. It's significantly faster than the Crucial, but not quite as fast as the OCZ Vector. For the high definition video read and write speed, so this is working in kind of a production environment with Blackmagic tools, and you can see that the read speed again is very good for the 850 Pro. It's around 10 megabytes a second faster than the Crucial, and around 20 faster than the OCZ Vector. Very close write speeds between the Vector and the 850 Pro, and Crucial lag a little bit behind on the writes. And those, of course, translate into frame rates, and you can see here that the 850 Pro just nudges ahead of the other two drives. So in file copy tests, we're copying a game folder, which is nearly 10 gig, a video file, which is 4 gig, and 1 gig uh, worth of multiple files. And overall, the 850 Pro is basically it's the fastest drive in these sorts of tests. So if you're just copying files about your PC, you you get them the completion of the task faster on the 850 Pro and even if it's just a, a few seconds here and there it all mounts up over time so always nice to have the fastest. Um, in terms of boot times again one of the faster drives the 850 Pro there's only a second in it but you know it's it's the faster drive and then that again goes for a load time off a battlefield for levels so six seconds on the crucial m550 and the vector 150 and then the samsung 850 takes five seconds so that brings us to the rapid mode and 
what rapid mode is doing is it's basically using our system memory up to four gigabytes of it as a really fast cache for the drive and so that benefits the read operations a lot more than the write operations and it benefits in, in synthetic tests a lot more than it does real world so you can see here for the read speed it just becomes astronomical on the um, rapid mode and of course that depends what sort of memory you've got installed so we've got DDR3-2666 in our test system, the Z97 system, and that gives a, a huge um, megabytes per second read speed there. For the write speed, you can see that it jumps from 531 to 569, so there's a decent nearly 40 megabytes a second boost there. And what that does is it actually takes us up to within 5 megabytes a second or so of the M2 drive. So you know, it's, you're still going to get a little bit faster reads on the M2, but the writes are going to be very comparable between the Samsung and the M2 connector. For actual real-world use, that means that our 4 gig file copy dropped down by 2 seconds, and so did our 1.1 gig copy. So it's giving us a little boost in performance in real-world use, as well as those crazy gains in the synthetic tests. So that's everything for the 850 Pro. Um, if you want to read our written review, you can follow the link in the description below. And thanks for watching this video.